I tweeted this. You did tweet that. We are now going to scroll through the comments. Ah, the comments. Let's see what y'all think. Oh, this is really, just as an aside, somebody in chat just said that is out of my price range. Today's video is brought to you by URCD Keys, the best source for Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys at deeply discounted prices. More details at the end of the video. Now, he might have been referring to the Samsung television, but I'm just, or the Samsung monitor, and that's fine. But I'm going to actually mention about the builds. Does anybody notice there's no $1,000 build today? No, I, I didn't say this at the beginning of the live There's no budget build. There's is no that, budget build. There's nothing. Because there is, well, there's a computer to buy if you don't want a GPU. <laughs> <laughs> I save money. I have gotten a number of comments. I acknowledge this. I've gotten a number of comments recently from viewers who have said they started watching the channel when I was doing the 250 to $500 builds back in 2016, 2017. Mm -hmm. I did the i5 2400 Dell Optiplex builds off of eBay where I'd take the machine, stick some RAM in it, put a small 240 gig boot SSD in. I'd put a GTX uh, 750 Ti or 1050 Ti in. I'd replace the power supply with one of those um, EVGA 80 plus whites that the uh, Super Chat guy asked about. Correct. And I would show gaming performance. I would show i5 2400 versus 4460 versus i5-7400. Like, what, what, what does those older machines get versus the newer ones? And there were a lot of people who loved those videos. And they're like, why did you stop? You're just Ryzen 9 this and RTX 3090 that. I hear you. Those don't exist anymore. The world changed. Because while you can still go to eBay and you can still buy a i5 2400 or 4440, or even these days an i5 6400 or 7400 machine for a hundred bucks plus or minus. You can put some cheap RAM in it. You can put a cheap SSD in it. That stuff's all very cheap. For max $150, you can get eight to maybe 16 gigs of RAM, a nice four to 500 watt power supply, a four core, four thread chip, which for a lot of gaming, GTA V, League of Legends, World of Tanks, I mean, it's fine. It's not ideal, it's not the best thing in the world, but it works like 150 bucks. Now we just need a graphics card. Great, we'll just go buy a $100 GTX 1650, oh crap. Those are $400. We'll just buy a 1050 Ti. Those are $300. GT 1030s. <laughs> 710. <laughs> there's no GPU to put in them. Oh, yes, there is. No, there's no GPU worth putting in them at, at a price that is not ludicrous. If you want to play games and you've got $500, go buy an Xbox. I'm sorry. That's the world. That's the budget right now. The budget deals that we covered at the beginning of this channel's history do not exist in any semblance of reason. If you have $1,000, what you can build yourself using parts that are worth putting together sucks. Newegg offered a 6600 XT in the shuffle today. No combo, just the card Correct. for 570. Love you, Newegg, not your fault, it's the market, but I wouldn't build. I wouldn't build a thousand dollar computer around that. Mm -mm. Yeah, the Quadro P four is four hundred one fifty. I know bad. All right, let's look at the comments. So I'm um, two. Th we've got a two thousand dollar build today. We've got a four thousand dollar build today. We do. There is a pre built down below for twelve hundred, but it isn't actually cheap. It's low price, but it's not cheap. In the long run, it's expensive because it won't last very long. You'll spend twelve hundred instead of nineteen hundred, but you'll just be replacing it in two years. Versus, you're saving short run cash flow, but it isn't really any cheaper. It's just shaving cash flow. But you, PCs are back to two grand. Welcome. Sorry, that's. I... Maybe I need to make like just a talking head video where I say welcome to the fact that t that PCs are two grand again. 
yeah, you can build a machine for a thousand, but it isn't worth building. It isn't worth putting together. It's too many compromises. All right. Your opinion is noted for the record, my love. Oh, really? There we go. Why don't you read these out? Uh, so our first comment said, as you've been saying, the GP price is a hard pill to swallow, but you can mine with it to offset cost or even pay for it if you're lucky. Outside of GPUs, PC parts aren't hard to find or terribly priced. They're not. 32 gigs of RAM for 129 bucks. i7 10 700Ks for 269, eight core 16 threads, 4.7 gigahertz. Mm -hmm. What's the issue? There are plenty of deals on parts. It's just GPUs are ridiculous. Yes. Um, then the next one says, excellent choice. I only changed the case for a Corsair 500D just for the fancy airflow. Perfectly valid option. I have that in the list today. <laughs> I do. It's in the video description below. Yep. Uh, I'm more of a fan of having smaller boot drive, but I'm just weird. Why? Yeah. Okay, that's fine, but why? Programs are bigger, games are bigger, Windows updates are getting bigger, Windows 11 is coming, uh, temp files, swap files, larger drives are faster than smaller drives. You want to leave at least 20% of space free because otherwise the performance tanks. And it's just a pain to manage files on multiple drives. Just get a two terabyte drive and be done with it. Um, what happened to all builds in 2021 having 64 gigs of RAM? I said all my builds were getting 64 gigs of RAM. That doesn't mean every... Look, I'm putting 64 gigs in my builds. But I'm not normal. I understand. For an i7-10700K, 32 gigs is probably the right RAM amount. 64 is for people building Ryzen 9s. There you go. Um, wait. Oh, very solid, especially if you're not keen on ray tracing. Because we have a 6700 XT, which ray tracing is a joke. Correct. Oof. Wait until you hear the price in my country. $560. Holy crap. Where is MAD? Is that Madrid or something? The solution is move to America. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what MAD is. Somebody in the chat can tell us what MAD is. Or where it is. Um... Someone says they're still running an i7 3770K, 24 gigs of DDR3 RAM, RX 580 with a 650 watt PSU, and too broke to even get food, let alone those parts, because I live alone and got disabilities, so I can't really do much if you're in not so great a situation. And what did I say? Sorry to hear that. Enjoy what you got then. Cyberpunk is overrated anyway. I would not want to use an i7 3770K because I've used better. But he has 24 gigs of RAM, so I'll give him credit for that. The RX 580 is a great 1080p graphics card. So don't play new AAA games. That machine will play World of Tanks, League of Legends, World of Warships, uh, Overwatch, Dota mm -hmm. 2, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Rainbow Six Siege, XCOM 2. It'll play tons of games. Mm -hmm. Morocco. Mad is Morocco. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> about 300 too much. He's probably complaining about the GPU price. I uh, built a rig with a 5900X 3060Ti. Yeah, that's not the right Managed GPU choice. Managed to get uh, 3060Ti brand new. I don't think going for anything less than a 5900X is good value right now. Well, first of all, do you notice he uses euros? Yeah. Okay. In the United States, a 5900X is 550. It's actually sold out at Newegg at the moment. It's... They, they dropped them to four ninety nine, and then they all sold out. Um, demand. Mm -hmm. Correct. So two sixty nine for a ten seven hundred k versus five fifty for a fifty nine hundred x. An argument could be said that it's worth it, but keep in mind. That's another $200. That takes our $1,900 machine and makes it $2,100. Correct. But if you go with a 5900X, I would kick the RAM up to 64. Yes. I would put it in a better case. See, 
here's the thing. Well, this is the, this conversation that we were having. If you're going to build a higher end PC for upgrading, everything has to get better. Everything has to get better. Your motherboard has to get better. Your case has to get better. Your power supply has to get better. It isn't just the two hundred dollars for the CPU. Your uh, GPU. You need a better GPU. More RAM. Oh, look, a whole new PC. In the Intel build here, we have the Meshify C for eighty nine dollars. On the AMD build, I have the Corsair 5000D Airflow, but it's one six, so it's seventy five dollars more for the case. You don't need this motherboard for a fifty nine hundred X, just for the fifty nine fifty X. But the RAM is, you know, twice the price. So if you go for a twelve core chip, a bunch of other things need to get better. Yep. So it isn't two hundred dollars more. It's five hundred dollars more. Well, yeah, because you got to tack a little bit on for everything. And then I wouldn't put a sixty-seven hundred XT on a fifty-nine hundred X. Correct. Now it's either a sixty-eight hundred XT or a thirty-eighty Ti. To be blunt, in which case you've just destroyed the budget. Mm -hmm. Well, no, you've just got a premium budget then. But it isn't just the price difference on the CPU. No, it's everything. And that's also why. This AMD build has the 5950X in it and not the 5900X because leaving out the expensive motherboard, let's say we put a, a $200, $250 motherboard in, that's fine. But the minute you've spent the money for 64 gigs of RAM, which if you're going Ryzen 9, I really do think at this point you should do, you'll wish you did in the next year or two. You'll be surprised. We even had a super chat earlier from somebody who said, wow. I've gotten a lot of comments from people who've gone even from 32 to 64 who have been like, I didn't think that would make any difference, but Tech kept talking about it, so I thought, okay, I'll try it. You don't think you need it until you have it, and then you go, well, okay, I didn't need it, but ooh, this is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. It's like when you give a one-year-old cake for the first time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, do you notice here that the SSD is 320? Yes. Is it this thing? No. Which one did you put in there? It's linked down below. But the point is, this is a Gen 4 premium drive. So that's $120 more for the same two terabytes. But if we come down to the SSDs, this one is the $200 one. And then this one is oh, the premium. 750K IOPS? Yes. Whee! And so, so the case is more, and notice we put a very nice power supply in there. You're going 3080. If you're gonna put it 1800R, just just don't, just don't even do 850. Do a thousand. Trust me. Well, hell, now you might as well do that because it's only 200 dollars more. Yes. This is how you go from two grand to four grand without trying very hard. Text point is if you're building an eight core machine. Build an eight core machine. Build an eight core machine. If you're planning on upgrading later, then don't. Just build it now. The problem with upgrading later is the parts you pick for a mid-range, and I see this all the time. I mean, okay, I hate to bring it up. How many people have said that the reason they like the Ryzen 5 5600X is because they can upgrade to a Ryzen 9 in the future? Oh, all of them. A ridiculous number of people say that. Yep. But the motherboard that you'd put a $270 CPU on, the motherboard, the RAM, the power supply, the case, the cooler, the SSD, all of the parts that you would put around a $270 Ryzen 5 5600X are completely inappropriate for a 12 or a 16 core chip. Yeah, you could do it, but you're sort of missing the point. And if you have to upgrade all, like a 650 watt power supply would be plenty for a Ryzen 5 5600X. A, $120 motherboard, $130 motherboard would be enough. A $65, $85 case would be enough. I could even see some people, I would disagree with them, but I could see some people even going 16 gigs of RAM because six cores, they're just gaming, one monitor, no multitasking, fine. But if you want to, in a year or two, swap out that Ryzen 5 for Ryzen 9, your power supply is wrong, your motherboard's wrong, your case is wrong, your cooler's wrong, your RAM is wrong, your storage is wrong, your video card's wrong. You built the wrong machine for a Ryzen 9. And if you overbuild your machine so that you can put a Ryzen 9 in the future, 
then you've wasted a crap ton of money today on an upgrade you might or might not do. Yep. Motherboard, CPU, cooler, power supply, case. Build them for the life of the machine. Lifer. Upgrading CPUs is stupid. We need a new t-shirt. My PC is a lifer. The core, video cards are a five minute change. RAM is five. RAM is a five minute change. You can add another storage device. Yes, but everything else? Put the right cooler with the right motherboard, with the right CPU, with the right power supply, because rewiring a power supply sucks. Just do that from day one right. And how many of you have rewired a uh, power supply? I can see the color just draining from people's faces. <laughs> Build it right once. Build because it. if you build it cheap today and then you want to upgrade it, you're spending money twice, you're spending time. And here's what really sucks. Imagine this. Your system's working great. Everything's great. You put it together, you got it running, oh, it's fine. it doesn't work. You go to upgrade it, it now. It doesn't like the RAM or it doesn't like the, or there's, or, or you have the random crashes because you don't have enough power supply. Or, or you did a BIOS update to support a new CPU, like the new XT chips are coming out. You want to do that, but your old motherboard wasn't designed for it. Um, I like what Andrew said. I will upgrade later is usually people just lying to themselves. Yeah. URCD Keys is the best source for genuine Windows 10 and Office Professional product keys that work the first time, every time. Get 20% off normal prices using our discount code BST for Bite Size Tech and the link in the video description below. $15 gets you a Windows 10 Professional OEM key that is a real product key, activates directly with Microsoft, use it forever as it links to your Microsoft account and it works through reinstalls. Get a full copy of Office 2019 Professional Plus for about $50 that redeems at setup.office.com using your Microsoft account. It also works forever through reinstalls. We have been using URCD keys for almost three years now and recommend you do so as well.